Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to the PumpProducts.com service counter. We have a lot of customers calling in looking for parts or to replace their pumps and they're not sure what their model numbers are or sometimes even who the manufacturer of the pump is. Luckily, your pump should have all this information posted on it. When you call in, our pump experts will typically ask you what the model or part number is on your pump. This is what we're going to use to find all the information on your pump. The part number can be found on a small rectangular tag on your pump that typically looks like this. A pump tag will display all the basic information about your pump. It could include your total dynamic head, your gallons per minute, maximum operating pressure and temperature. It really depends on the manufacturer what is included on your pump data plate. You might see a similar looking plate on the pump. That's going to be your motor tag. That's going to contain all pertinent information to the motor, such as voltage and phase. The motor tag will be on the motor, whereas the pump tag will be on the volute of the pump typically. This is how you'll be able to identify which is which. Different pumps may have their tags in different places. Today we're going to look at a couple of different pumps to get an idea where the tags may be on these particular pumps. We're going to look at a Bell & Gossett inline circulator pump, a Zoller sewage pump, and a Gould's jet well pump. On this Bell & Gossett inline circulator pump, we're going to note that the tag is right here. This is actually going to be on the bearing assembly and not the volute. So on this, it's going to be the 102210 model number. It's part of the series HV line. And on the motor tag, it states that's 1 sixth horsepower, 1725 RPM, single phase, 115 volt pump. So on the Zoller sewage pumps, they could typically be found on the top of the pump. It's going to contain the information such as the model number, which is N267, the PN or product number of 267-0002. It's going to contain the manufacturer date, the voltage, and this one is 115. It's going to contain the phase, which is single phase on this particular pump, as well as the horsepower, and this pump will be half horsepower. It's also going to show the running amps of this pump, which is 10.4 amps. Finally, on this Gould's jet pump, on the older units, the tag could be found right on the motor adapter. On the newer units, they're putting tags on the actual motor itself. As you can see, this one's a J7S. They have two tags for it, seen here and here. This one's gonna be a three quarter horsepower and it'll operate on 115 or 230 volts single phase and it runs on 10.2 amps. Finally, if you have any questions, you can't identify your pump's tag or locate it, call one of our experts today. We'll be happy to help you identify it no matter what the pump manufacturer or model number is.